I am an indie game dev, and today I will try out Stray. I know, I know, Stray has just been released, so this is something I can understand. Are you sure about that? But it's kinda sad that this game background is a bit boring. Put some kind of the background that you have in the trailer or something. By the way, I love how interactable the buttons are. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's play. We are a cat. I love how easy it is to control the character, like it feels agile like a cat. Oh, so what we can see here is the game making us interact with other characters so we can have connections with them. And this is a very good way to introduce uh, the characters. By the way, the game graphics is not as good as I expected, so it's a bit disappointing. Are we going to sleep? Okay, let's sleep. By the way, the game resolution is a bit low because my potato computer cannot run the high resolution. So this is not the game fault. Okay, I'll check back what I said about this game graphics. This game is gorgeous, and so do the music. This mailing ability is really cool, like, it seems useless, but in some games like Untitled Goose, this is where well, this makes the game feel good. Okay, I think this part kinda teach us about basic mechanics, like climbing the wall or something. What are we going to do here? Okay, you shall stop now. Okay, just some um, new mechanics. Well, that is a render error. Okay, just climbing some stuff. So this is another mechanics that I really like. Instead of spamming space, you can hold it to change them. Wait a minute, now I just realized, grass doesn't move when you touch it. Uh, well, 
Okay, like this. Uh, okay. Yeah, like okay. You should add that. Um, okay, but okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, nice. Oh no, I already knew what will happen. Oh gosh. Yeah, and the game done a good job at setting up the emotion for this scene from the opening. Now that's what the scene supposed to look like. This is what happened in my computer. Yeah, there is a delay between the audio and the visual. And I hate this so much, it absolutely destroyed my experience. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. But anyway, I have this problem with other games too, so okay, it's fine. What is this place? Oh, our cat is injured. We just transformed from moving slowly to moving fast. Okay, I love that. This is the exact place that we seen before. Dead city. Yes, we are on our own now. Yo, look at this. This game even has its own language. One, do not try to exit the city. Stay home. Two, avoid any contact with other residents. Three, Violating the rules of confinement will result in a heavy prison sentence. Gosh, I'm living in 1984. What are you looking at? Well, this game is very interactive. Currently, I don't see any residents living in this area. I don't understand.
Hello. Wait a minute, it said help. It's cool how much we can interact with the stuff inside the game. Okay, we have a puzzle here. How could we turn off the fan? Oh wait, it's there. It's okay, it's okay, no one needs logic inside a game. This is basically what cats do. Well, I accidentally solved the puzzle. Bruh. Okay. Uh, stop. Stop that. Stop it. Get some help. Bro, what is that? Okay. Wow, what is that? We just slapped it. Every time we come close to this thing, it turns off. Wow, finally another cutscene.
Okay, something is not right. Well, this is unexpected. Gosh, it is so difficult to redirect the cats. Okay, remember, left out to remove those from our body. Well, and if you pay close attention, the screen turns red when you are in danger. Oh no, wrong path. Okay, we are safe. Yes, we escaped. Wow, this cat still be able to calmly scratch its neck after such a stressful situation. Okay, this is my thought after playing a part of this game. Okay, so that is episode 1 of me playing Stray. If you want more content about games and game dev, please consider subscribing to this channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. I'll appreciate that.